You gotta be kidding! Would you like me to save you, Zelos? Beg for our forgiveness. And pledge loyalty to Crucius. That monster will bestow eternal suffering upon you. If it devours you, you will neither live nor die. You will be trapped in true darkness, tormented in isolation forever. Forever? I can save you. Join us and defeat Lloyd. Then it will all be over. Lord Mythos has agreed to let the people of Mizuho live. And he'll remove the title and duties of the Chosen from you and transfer everything to me. Celeste will gain the power of the Chosen. Yes! What I've wanted more than anything else. The power of the Chosen. You'll let me have it, won't you? Just imagine. Your life will finally have meaning and value. All you have to do is pledge your allegiance to me. As soon as you do that, you will be saved from the Shadow's grasp. The people of Mizuho! Celeste will become the Chosen. Listen to me, both of you! I've come for you guys! I'm right down below! Whoa, whoa, whoa! The only thing down there is that monster! Lloyd! Don't tell me you were eaten by that monster! That Lloyd is the real illusion. The monster is mimicking his voice to lure you. I'm not an illusion! Do you think it's better for the people of Mizuho to become part of the Age of Lifeless Beings? Do you think it's okay for Celis to become the next Chosen who could be sacrificed at any time? I... But... Both of you have to decide for yourselves. But I have faith in you. I know you won't run away, even if what we're trying to do is difficult. Don't forget, your lives have value just by being alive and being there. Just by being alive, my life has value? A traitor like me has value? Of course not. No life has any value just by being alive. Shut up. There's a significance in being born. But if that's not good enough for you, I'll give them another value. They're both valuable because they're my friends. Eh, that's a pretty pathetic value. But I suppose it'll do. You reject my offer? You know what I wish for, yet you still interfere? Sorry, but I got no choice. The guy who decided my value believes in me and tells me not to run away. I trust you, Lloyd. I, the sort of valuable Zelos, am headed your way. <sighs> Looks like you beat me to it. Are you running away again? I'll raise the entire village of Mizuho. I am not running. The people of Mizuho are waiting for us to reunite the worlds. Betraying that trust would truly be running away. Damnation or salvation? Guess there's only one way to find out. Welcome back, you two. It's not like I can really run away from the fact that I was born. Exactly. Especially since we now have our newfound pathetic value and all. I'm gonna try and face my challenges head on. Yeah, running won't solve anything. What possible value does one burden to exist with cursed blood have? Sometimes running's the only way to save yourself. Humans are... so arrogant. What is that? A spider figurine. But it's broken in half. It's kind of creepy. Maybe it's an admonition to not run away. <laughs> I guess that's one way to look at it. Maybe it is. I'm gonna hang on to it as a reminder.
What the? Why is the mayor... Be careful. It's an illusion. You think I'm an illusion? This is exactly why everyone says half-elves are fools. Rain, my pitiful child. A tainted child who received only half her elven blood. M mother Half elves have no place in this world. That's not true! It is because you are despicable halflings that I was chased out of Heimdall. Then why did you give birth to us? There probably was no choice. That's why you were thrown away after you were born. Disappear from this world. Die! There is no meaning for you to live. Disappear. Die! Now! Why are you saying such cruel things? Shut up, you failed Chosen! I didn't choose to be born like this, yet... It can't be helped. It's your fault for not being a pureblood. No, you're wrong! No, they are not wrong. Half-elves are despised and discriminated against for merely being alive. Our existence is a crime. No! It's not the half-elves fault! We... People who can't accept those who are different are the ones to blame. It's because of their weak hearts. Hey, you two. I came to get you. Lloyd! Now let's go. It's hopeless, Rain. You'll just be abandoned again. As long as you're a half-elf, the world will continue to hate you. Lloyd came for us, even though he could have left us behind and faced Mythos. You'll just be betrayed again. Because you're a half-elf. You may be right. But then again, you may be wrong. It wasn't because of my blood that you abandoned me. It was because of the world that hates my blood, and a mother who was too weak to stand up against it. I'm going to stop hating that weakness. My hatred never changed anything. In order to change the world, I must first change myself. I'm glad I was born a half-elf. It was because of it that I met Lloyd and my other dear friends. You failed Chosen. What will you do? If you obey your blood as a Chosen and lend me your power, the world will be saved. Yes! Give up your life and fulfill your duty as the Chosen. You were born to be a sacrifice. I have the blood of the Chosen flowing in me. I was born to save the world. Colette! Because I was the Chosen, I was always alone in the village. Until Lloyd came to school, no one would be my friend. Because I was the creature known as the Chosen, I wasn't even a human being. Of course! The Chosen exists to save the world! A Chosen who can't do that is nothing more than a monster! I used to think that way. That it's okay because I'm not human. But that was because I was weak. Just as humans are unable to accept half-elves, I wasn't able to accept that there was another way of life other than to wait for death. My heart was weak too. Is it a sin to be weak-hearted? Not everyone's strong. Not everyone can stand being despised. Hey, you two. Lloyd? Thank you for coming. I'm sorry. I promise to make up for all the trouble we've caused. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? Hey, what's this thing that just came floating down? They're fragments of the mirror. Maybe they're symbols of the weakness of our hearts. You should hang on to it. It's proof that you guys beat that weird mirror. Yeah. Yes, it's a good idea.
It's them. I'll save you guys. I thought I just saw Lloyd. Yes, he disappeared. What could... A trap? Even if it is, remaining here indefinitely... Would not be particularly meaningful. Let us search for Lloyd. I'm so glad you two are safe. Alicia... Impossible. Please wait, I'll take you to Lloyd. It's an illusion. Alicia is... dead. Yes. She was murdered. Yes. Then what am I, Prisea? Even though I'm right here, breathing, my very own sister insists that I'm dead? I... It's true that I was murdered by Regal. But here I am, alive, in front of you. Isn't that enough? It's only an illusion. Be gone! <laughs> Prisea! We... I don't know for certain it's an illusion. Prisea, you believe me, don't you? Thank you. You. Stop. If you don't stop. Regal, I can't believe you tried to kill me. I can't believe it. Silence, Phantom. Prisea, move. If you want to kill Alicia, you must face me first. Prepare yourself. Stop it, both of you. Lloyd's voice. Is this an illusion as well? But... there's blood. I feel an evil presence from that blood. Be careful, Prisea. What's going on? What is real? It doesn't matter. Just settle down. Why are you fighting each other? You're supposed to be friends. Lloyd. You... aren't an illusion? Why did you stop attacking? You hate the one who murdered me, don't you? But... And Regal, why won't you just let yourself be killed? You've always felt guilty about killing me. Uh, Here's your chance to end it all. Yes, it's for the best. If you are killed, you will no longer feel guilt. If you kill him, you will have your revenge. Crimes must be punished. Both of you! Get a hold of yourselves! Don't confuse who you should be fighting! Dying won't settle anything. Killing won't solve anything. That is merely logic. People are not moved by logic. If the one you love is killed, you hate the murderer. And murderers must be punished. But if you keep killing people like that, it'll only spawn new hate and new revenge. Besides, you're just running away if you die. You'll forget the murder and the pain of that crime. Spawn new hate. Running away from my crime. What about my feelings? You murdered me! It is true that Alicia died. But I know she doesn't want things to end like this. What you're both doing is selfish. You're... the real Lloyd. And that Alicia is a fake. Alicia wouldn't say things like that. Are you... going to kill me? Stop deceiving my friends! Uh, I came to get you guys. I'm sorry. I... lost the will to atone for my crimes by taking comfort in the feeling of being punished. Death is not punishment. Punishment is living with one's crime and working to atone for it. I closed off my heart and turned away from people who were trying to atone for their crimes because it was easier to hate than to forgive. There are so many things you can do before you die. And I don't think everything has to be forgiven. But no matter how painful things may be, you just can't dwell on the past. You're right. I will stop allowing myself to be trapped in the past. One cannot seek a new world while dragging the past along. And thus you forget the past, the countless lives that were lost, and the pain of those that suffered. Crimes must be met with punishment. What's that? A knife. There are nicks all over the blade. Maybe it's a symbol of your past. Let us think of it that way. Yes. 
so that we may never fight amongst ourselves again. Yeah. 